From the studios of NBC 12 and ABC 25, this is First Coast News at 11. Medical marijuana could still cost you your job. The reason your boss probably won't care about November's referendum. So the push to legalize medicinal marijuana in Florida is gaining momentum. Now, a bill which would legalize the medicinal use of something called Charlotte's Web, a strain of cannabis supporters say could help those suffering from seizures clear the Florida House. In November, you're going to decide whether to give medical marijuana the green light in Florida. But if it is approved, just how would it affect the workplace? Keith Nelson has that story for us tonight. Would smoke breaks take on a whole new meaning? Could drug testing rules actually be changed? Well, today I sat down with an employment attorney to shed some light on the politics of pot in the workplace. When it comes to the legalization of medicinal marijuana and how it will affect the workplace, employment attorney Eric Halshauser says one word sums things up. Messy. I think it opened up a real can of worms in terms of law enforcement and employers enforcing policies in the workplace. Many workplaces require drug screenings and some do randomly test. Halshauser says the problem employers will face is proving a worker was in fact under the influence while on the job. Because unlike other drugs and alcohol, marijuana sticks around in your system. That the metabolites of marijuana can stay in the system for weeks. So when you test somebody for marijuana, it doesn't necessarily indicate whether they're currently under the influence. And when it comes to testing, he would advise an employee to notify the testing laboratory of a legal prescription. That way, if they test positive, it may not show up as a positive test. But when it comes to safety-sensitive jobs, Halshauser says employers can be stricter in terms of testing. There is some body of evidence that even uh, marijuana use, even if somebody is not immediately high or under the influence, that it can slow reaction times. And my advice to employers would be to be safe in terms of employee safety first, to worry about any sort of discrimination claim second. As for employee health plans covering medicinal marijuana, Holzhauser says that's something that's up to the insurance companies. Now, tomorrow night, Tuesday at 10 p.m., CNN will air a special on medicinal marijuana. Dr. Sanjay Gupta will be answering your questions about medicinal marijuana on Reddit Live. Reporting live in downtown, I'm Keitha Nelson, NBC 12, ABC 25. Keitha, thanks. We began this report saying support is growing for legalizing medicinal marijuana, and this might be run one reason why. Take a look. Today, the state of Colorado's Department of Revenue reported that in January, the first full month of legal pot sales, the state collected just over $2 million in taxes from recreational marijuana sales, another million and a half dollars from medicinal marijuana sales.